Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gin Sense. Hope you're doing well. It's time for some first impressions of a new fragrance that just came out not that long ago. It is 724 from Maison Francis Kirchon. This one was highly anticipated by a lot of people and it has had kind of a mixed reaction from people since it's been released, you could say. So in today's video, I'll show you guys the presentation, break this one down for you a little bit, let you know how it smells to me, and let you know whether or not I think you should check it out. So let's jump into it. This fragrance was sent to me for review by twistedlily.com. So a uh, shout out to Twisted Lily. I'll link them in the description and also link this fragrance. And if you do shop at twistedlily.com, use the code GENS10, save yourself 10% off your whole order. So thanks Twisted Lily, as always, you guys are cool. Let's do the presentation first. So this is the outer box. This is how it's gonna look when you receive the fragrance. You have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance and the concentration right there on the front. You have the Maison Francis Kirchon logo up top. Little info on the back, and then on the bottom, your ingredients and your batch code. Batch code here, 22096. And here's the box that sits inside of that box. Box within a box, box section. You have the name of the house right there on the front, and that's pretty much it on this one. There's a pull tab up top. Give that a pull, and the bottle sits right inside there. And here you have the bottle. It's your typical Maison Francis Kirchon bottle style. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, and the concentration right there on the front. You have a little picture behind the sticker that you can see through, it looks really nice. You have the MFK logo up on top of the cap. On the bottom, you have a sticker with your size, 70 mils, 2.4 fluid ounces, and the cap slides snugly into place. Let's go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you. Not too bad. So this one, it ain't cheap. At full retail, it's pretty costly, which you would expect, but yeah. $170 for a 35 mil size bottle. If you want this size right here, that's $275. And if you want a 200 milliliter size, that'll run you 515 bucks. So like I said, it's not cheap. Now, as I alluded to at the beginning of the video, this one has been met with a little bit of a, a divisive reaction. Some people really love it and other people are completely let down. It doesn't seem like there's a huge middle ground right now. So let me go ahead and fill you guys in on how it comes across to me. When I first sprayed 724 on, first time I pulled it out of the box, blasted it on, I was underwhelmed. Yeah, that'd be the best, the best word to use, underwhelmed. I was hoping that it was gonna be something that was like earth shaking, earth shattering, the type of fragrance that just blows me away and I'm gonna keep coming back to it again and again and again and again. Instead, when I first sprayed it on, I was more just like, oh, it's another soapy MFK, a fresh white floral kind of fragrance that, that fits right in with um, Aqua Universalis or Aqua Vitae or any of the aqua fragrances from Maison Francis Kirchon. And to me, that's uh, actually kind of a bummer because if I'm being honest here, the aqua fragrances from MFK are probably my least favorite fragrances from the house. And it's not that they smell bad. They are completely competent and very well done at what they're trying to do, which is just to be kind of like this fresh, airy, kind of breezy, ozonic white floral scent with, with soapy nuances that you can wear anywhere because it's clean and easy to like. They do that really well, but what they're lacking is that kind of that personality, that, that uniqueness where it kind of hooks you and makes you come back and come back and come back. Like I said, that's what I was looking for. And the aqua fragrances, uh, they, don't, they don't do that for me. I know a lot of people out there love them. And like I said, they're really well done. They're competently done, but uh, just not my style. And so 724 immediately reminded me of that when I first sprayed this on and I just kind of went, Oh, obviously I have worn it more since then. This is still a first impression because I've only been able to wear it for like three days so that I can't really do like a full review here. So yeah, it was let down. First time I sprayed it on let down was not really hyped. It didn't smell bad. It just didn't capture my attention. 
It did get better though. With multiple wearings, I've grown to really like the way it comes across in the opening and the mid. And when you first spray it on, it's a touch metallic ever so slightly. It's ozonic, it's fresh. Like I said, it has soapy nuances to it. Kind of edged with the hint of green as well. I think it smells really pleasant. Unisex leaning feminine right away as soon as you spray it on. As it dries down, that metallic feel goes away pretty fast actually. And the white florals come out more and they become the focal point of the fragrance. In the initial blast, you get a little bit of sweet citrus ever so slightly coming through. And uh, as it dries down, the more citric nuances of the fragrance, they dissipate, but the sweetness kind of lingers around for a little bit longer. It does smell like a, a very high end expensive hand soap to an extent as you head through the mid. I don't mean that as negatively as that may come across, but that's kind of the image that gets put into my mind. And once you hit the dry down, most of the florals fall away and you're left with this, this kind of white musk that just lingers on your skin. And that becomes the, the main thing that I pick up in the dry down. Because for me, each time I've worn this, not a huge change from the open to the mid other than that metallic feeling kind of stepping away, a little bit of that green edge falling away and the florals coming out more as you head into the mid, but they're still pretty similar, the opening in the mid. The dry down though, quite different. You get a little touch of powder as it heads through the mid, but it's not overbearing. It doesn't detract from the fragrance. It's kind of counterbalanced out by that freshness. But once you hit that dry down, it's, it's pretty much just for me anyway, mainly centered around a, a musk and a light musk at that. Now I mentioned the aqua fragrances earlier that this would fit in with those. It does smell more similar to aqua universalis, much more similar actually than to aqua vitae. And I can say after the wearings that I've given this, that I would choose this over aqua universalis, over aqua vitae, not sure about that. Aqua Vitae has a, a little bit more to offer for me. It leans a little bit more masculine, whereas this one, like I said, is a little bit more feminine. Aqua Vitae, a little more sweetness in there, a little more depth. So I think I would actually pick that one over 724. Aqua Universalis though, that's gonna fall down below 724. So that's all good. What about the performance here? Well, for me, mm, not great. When you're factoring in the price points here, I'd actually say it's, it's kind of bad. The longevity is fine off my skin average, I'd say five, six hours or so, but the projection, it's on the weaker side. The opening and the mid are fine. I can pick those up pretty well uh, as I'm moving around. I can catch wafts of it. Other people can pick it up. But as it starts to head into the dry down and that musk becomes the main thing that's uh, coming off my skin, it's pretty weak. It's, it's not very strong. It doesn't have much punch at all. At that point, it becomes a near skin scent. So you have to get right on top of somebody to be able to pick it up. And that's with me spraying the fragrance on pretty decently. Not a few wimpy sprays going with a solid amount, you know, 9, 10, 11 sprays. So if you were hoping that 724 was going to be just a huge step up from Aqua Universalis in terms of performance, you'd probably be disappointed, at least if it works off your skin like it does mine. In terms of seasons, it's going to be more a spring summertime fragrance, more of a daytime fragrance than a nighttime fragrance. It would be a potential good uh, fragrance for, for work, for the office, for situations where you don't want a fragrance that screams out, that's really loud, that you know is heavily projecting and, and things like that, where it could potentially overwhelm people or make them offended by what you're wearing. It could do well in situations like that because it is very clean, very safe. I mean, nobody's gonna be offended by this stuff ever. But then you go back to the price and it's like, well, do I wanna pay that much to have a fragrance that I pretty much use when I just wanna have a, a clean scent that doesn't project heavily? Um, it's a personal question, a personal answer, but for me, I'm not sure about that. So on the whole, you got some positives and some negatives. The opening, the mid, very pleasant. I like the way those smell a lot. Pleasing, fresh, clean, easy to wear. It's nothing really unique at this point. It's nothing show stopping. Once you hit the dry down though, it's really weak and the dry down is pretty boring to me. So there we go, 724. I started out being underwhelmed. I did grow to like it more than initially, but this is not a love. All right guys, that will do it for me. Like I said, linked in the description below. If you've smelled this one, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if it works better for you and it works for me. Uh, stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you again another day with another video. Thanks for hanging with me. See you guys later.